of Western physics. The first was conducted by uh, a Russian physicist, Vladimir Popinin, uh, in the early 1990s. He came to the United States to, to finish this series of experiments. And what Popinin did was he wanted to investigate the relationship between human DNA and the stuff our world is made out of, little packets of energy that we call photons, little particles of light, if you want to think of them that way. So the experiment consisted of taking a tube, a glass tube, uh, drawing all the air out of this tube, creating what today we call a vacuum, implying that there's nothing left in this tube. However, we know that there's still something left, these, these little particles of light. So Popin then measured the particles to see how they were distributed. Did they fly all over the place inside the tube, or were they all accumulated at the bottom, or what happened with them? And the results of this part of the experiment were not surprising, because the, the little particles of light, the photons, were completely random, and this is what they expected. The next part of the experiment is where this gets really, really interesting. Because they placed some human DNA into this tube. And the human DNA, when they remeasured the photons, the human DNA had caused the photons to form an alignment. The DNA was having a direct effect on the stuff our world is made of. Now this is precisely what ancient spiritual traditions have always said. That something within us has an effect in the world around us. And Popinin's experiment for the first time in recent times is actually verifying this under laboratory conditions. And the next piece of the experiment is even more interesting because what they found was that when the DNA was removed from the tube, we would expect that they would all go back randomly distributed just the way they were before. And this is not what happened. What happened was even though the DNA was no longer in the tube, the photons remained aligned as if the DNA were still there. And the question is why? What is it that causes this effect? There's nothing in Western physics that accounts for why those photons should remain in the position that they were in when the DNA that caused them to be become aligned is now removed from the tube. This experiment is called the phantom DNA experiment because, uh, because the effects last whether the DNA is there or not. What it tells us is, number one, is that DNA is communicating, human DNA, is communicating with the stuff our world is made of, the packets of energy that, that underlie all of matter. It's communicating through a field that has previously been unrecognized. Uh, the scientists call it a new field. My sense is it's probably been there all along, and we simply didn't recognize it. So we'll call this a previously unrecognized field.